If you're looking to farm for experience and AP, stop, because you need to farm after you have completed the game. Let me show you. This is me before I ended the game. And this is me after I ended the game. This huge difference is because of the 300% multiplier that is added to your experience and AP after you finish the game. Now with that out of the way, let me show you the best farming spot. This farming spot will allow you to farm tons of AP and experience in gil, as well as additional resources which you can use to transmute items or even sell for additional gil. And within a couple of hours, you will be maxed out. Just like any other farming method, there's always a setup required. And this one is very simple. Let's talk about the setup. We are only going to be using Cloud, Tifa and Aerith. Make sure all 7 of your characters have weapons and armor with maximum number of material slots on them. Because the more the slots, the more material we can level up. However, if you have the chokeable armband, I highly recommend using it. Any material equipped on this will get you 3 times the AP. And if you link it up with the AP up materia, that's 6 times more AP. Use this to level up the materia that you really need maxed out or equip those that need a lot of AP to max. For the accessory, you can use anything you like, doesn't really matter. Note that I'm only showing the required materia needed for this farming method. You can equip whatever you like on the empty slots. The required materia here is the experience up and gill up materia on the weapon. Both of these materia will double your experience and gill earned from the battles. On the chocobo armband, link the AP up materia with whichever materia you really need to level up fast. For Tifa, equip the circlet accessory as it increases max MP by 10% and magic power by 5%. Equip Magnify level 2 with Fire level 2. We are only going to be using Fyra with Tifa and Magnify will attack up to 3 enemies with Fyra. We also need 2 MP up materia at level 2 or 3 at level 1. The reason is that we want to max our MP by 30%. So any of these two combinations will work perfectly fine. The last one is a maxed out first strike materia so that she can start with one whole ATB bar. Same setup applies to Aerith except that she gets a level 3 fire and ice materia instead of the fire materia. For the accessory, equip the Chocobo King's cape on her. Combined with the first strike materia, Aerith will now start battles with two full ATB bars. For the rest of the characters and all the empty slots, equip whichever materia you want to upgrade. Lastly, if your materia is under leveled, don't worry. This method might take you a bit longer, but you will definitely get a lot of AP to reach the required level. Oh, and for your folios, make sure to activate these skills for both Tifa and Aerith. Now, on to the farm. To start, we're gonna head up to the airstrip tower in Nibelheim. Alright, so, first and foremost, make sure that your setting is set, a uh, gameplay setting, uh, difficulty is set to easy. If it's normal or dynamic, then this method will not work. I mean, it will kind of work, but it'll take you more time to defeat the enemies. And just gonna show you uh, my characters, uh, their build as well. So as you can see, all of them have got the material equipped on them. And apart from Cloud, everyone is level 50. So I'm gonna follow a specific route and along the way, break any boxes if I want to and click, uh, collect any resources off the ground. So breaking boxes can sometimes give you some items, sometimes they won't. So um, I'm not going to break any boxes, but I will show you to collect uh, resources along the way on to the next fight. Fight number one, we're going to use Tifa and we're going to cast Fyra. They're quite close. Hopefully they all should die. If not, then I have to kill one. Yeah. So when there are more than three enemies, chances are you'll have to kill one of them as the spell will not take care of all four of them, unless they're super close. Fight number two, again, we're gonna cast um, Fire Out with Tifa. Perfect, gonna collect these materials. There are some boxes there if you wanna pick, uh, if you wanna destroy, if not, we're gonna move up here and collect some resources on the side and we're gonna head up to our battle number three. Again, these enemies are quite scattered. We're gonna cast Fyra. One of them will be left alive. I don't know which one, but I should just... All right, so this one's left. Gonna kill this, and there we go. 
collecting resources. My characters have leveled up. Fight number four. This one requires Aerith to cast Fyra because she has more uh, magic power, right? So this should kill all of them. Perfect. Uh, you can see that my materia is also leveling up, but I'm not going to go into my menu and uh, change it if I want to. You can, as soon as you see that your materia has leveled up. If you think it's reached max, you should uh, switch it to uh, another materia. So, when here, we're going to move up, we're going to move down to this Chocobo stop on the southwestern island. If you have uh, not unlocked this spot, you'll probably have to come down here and unlock it because I have it unlocked, so I'm just going to fast travel. Resources here. I'm gonna cast Fyra with Tifa. One, two, and three. All dead. Alright, so for this fight, we need Edith to cast Blizzaga. This dude is not gonna die, so a better start. Attack him a bit. And he's dead. Awesome. Some more resources. You can pick up these resources if you just want to focus on uh, fights and get experience and AP as quickly as possible. Then just move on to the next fight. Tifa is going to cast Fyra again. All three should be dead. Perfect. So as you can see, this is uh, a, I'm getting a lot of uh, experience, AP, and gil, as well as gathering a lot a lot of resources, which I can either use to transmute items, or just sell at the shop. So this is the next fight. Again, for this fight, I'm going to use Edit to cast Blazaga, because Blazaga basically kills Valron. Zoo is going to survive with some HP, hopefully. Oh, dead. Because see. When they're close, they should die. If they're if they are further apart, then you'll have to kill them yourself. And this coming over to our last fight in Nibelheim. This one is again going to be Tifa with uh, sorry Erit with Fyra. Perfect. Now Nibelheim is done. And you can see that I still have uh, a lot of MP left. Not a lot, but I still have some considerable MP left on Tifa and Aerith. So what I'm going to do with this MP is that I'm going to open up my map. And I'm going to head up to the Gungaga region. All the way down to this spot. The Cliffside Storehouse. Over here, uh, I'm going to use... Edit to cast Blizzara on these enemies and that you kill them. There we go. We're gonna head up here along the way up. And instead of following this path to the right, we can see that there are some more enemies. We're gonna use Fireaga with Edith. Gonna guard. So as you can see, Edith is now left with only 4 MP, which is basically not that much. But we're gonna use Tifa for the next two fights. We're gonna use this route uh, and go up through the forest and on to our next battle. Gonna use Fyra. The flowers will probably not die because at my level. So I'm gonna have to kill them. One of them anyways. And that's it. Now we're gonna do the last fight of this route. Again, Fyra with Tifa. And that's it. So, to cut it short... In this route, what has happened is that I have gotten close to 37,000 experience, 216 AP, 13,928 gil, and I have gotten a lot of resources along the way as well. And if 
I was explaining this entire thing, therefore it took me a bit longer. But if you do this fast, you can probably do this in under five minutes. So let's just show you what my characters look like now. So Cloud is 52. Everyone else is also 52, except for uh, Red 13 and Kate Sid. Now all you need to do is rest at any stop to recover your HP and MP. You can rest anywhere you like, like here at Cosmo Canyon. Or maybe you'd like to rest at a Chocobo stop in Nibelheim so that you can start the process quicker all over again. This is me after 6 more cycles in 30 minutes. My character started off at level 50 and now they're at level 59. I got almost 97,500 gil, 1296 AP and 776 for Klaus Chocobo armband. All this in 30 minutes. If I do this for another R, I'll be level 70 in no time. This method is better than those battle simulation ones as this applies to everyone in your party rather than those taking part in the battle. This also nets you lots of gil and resources which you don't get in those simulations. Try out this method and let me know in the comments below how it worked out for you. Do check out my other content as well. If you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to keep this data for motivated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.